Hello everyone! So today in this video, we are going to let you know more about Gangwon-do province, which is one of the richest areas of Korea. So make sure to watch the video till the end. Gangwon-do is a province of South Korea whose capital is Chuncheon. It is located in the east of the country. The symbols of the province are the Korean white pine, the royal azalea and the red-crowned crane. In Gangwon-do province, the best cities are mainly Gangneung, known for its beautiful beaches, Sokcho, Wonju, Tonghae, and Chuncheon. Wonju is the most populated city of Gangwon-do province. In Gangwon-do province, there are so many things you can do, so many places to visit and attractions for all tastes. Here are some main places we recommend you to visit during your trip to Gangwon-do. You may have heard of many famous places located in Gangwon-do such as Nami Island, which is very famous among tourists. Nami Island, with the concept of fairy tale village and song village, provides various cultural events, concerts, exhibitions, and more to give children dreams and hopes, couples love and memories, and artists a space for creativity. You can find there the Song Museum, Picture Book Playground, Whatever Center, Art Shop, UNICEF Hall, Together Park, UNICEF Train. Restaurants also provide various and delicious food, and Hotel Jongwang Ru has a themed accommodations. Another place you can visit is the Woljongsa, which is one of the 24 main temples of the Joge order of Korean Buddhism. It is located in Jinbu village of Pyeongchang district on the slopes of Mount Ode. It was founded in 6043 by the monk Jajang. During its history, it was burned and rebuilt in 1307 and then in 1833. After Gyeongchun subway line opened, the old train tracks turned into a rail bike park. Gangcheon Rail Park starts next to Kim Yu-jong Station and offers various attractions including a large book photo zone, cafe, zip wire and more. The total course of the trail bike is 8.5 km long with 6 km on rail bike and last 2.5 km on a train. Gangwon-do is also famous for hiking. Let us introduce you to some very interesting places to hike. The main place for hiking you don't want to miss is Soraxa National Park, which is actually a natural reserve area, a national park, a biosphere reserve area, which is a plant resource of Korea. It has been listed by the South Korean government with UNESCO as a tentative World Heritage Site. The government designated the area as a nature reserve in 1965. There are also other places where you can hike, such as Odessa National Park, which has the largest natural forest of Korea, home to many wild animals and plants. The mountain is divided into smaller sections, like Kodesan section, Bangadari Bright section, Pyongneri section, and a lot of other sections. It is also rich in soil and resources, with lush forests and gentle slopes. Another great place is Tibaksan Mountain, which encompasses several peaks such as Yongbong Peak and serves as a home to diverse wild animals and plants, including several endangered species. The higher plains are covered with alpine vegetation, the mountain is very famous spot for hiking and enjoying amazing views. Another place is Heparang Road, which actually begins at Oryukdu Island in Busan, at the south of the country, and ends at the Unification Observatory in Kangwon Province in the northeast. This trail is famous for the beautiful landscapes all along the trail. Many hiking lovers consider this trail as their favorite. Now let's talk about skiing, because Kangwon-do is also famous for that activity. In Kangwon-do, you can find the famous Yongpyeong Resort Ski and Snowboard, which is the favorite spot for ski lovers. There is a total of 31 pistes, 15 lifts, with super nice accommodations, restaurants, and great services. There is also the very known Phoenix Resort on the Vival de Ski World, both famous places for skiing. Kangwon-do is also very famous for its ice fishing activities. Indeed, there are many ice fishing festivals, such as in Hwacheon County, where you can enjoy this original activity. There are also some activities where you can fish the trots with your hands for a more authentic experience. The most famous festival is called Pyeongchang Trout Festival, where tourists can practice ice fishing or bare hand fishing and you can also cook nearby the fish that you caught. Let's talk about surfing now. Kangwon-do is also very known for its surfing spots. Many surfers enjoy coming to Kangwon-do to enjoy the waves and especially its surfy beach in Yangyang City on the east coast of Korea. Another place you don't want to miss is Gyeongbo Beach, located 6 km from downtown Gangneung. It is a sand bank formed between Gyeongpoho Lake and the ocean. This beach has a beautiful sandy shore that extends to a length of 1.8 km and shallow waters, making it a popular beach attraction. 
in Kangwondo, you can also get to know more about the DMZ. Let us show you some places. To get to know more about the tragedy Korean War, make sure to visit the DMZ Museum that shows the past, the present and the future of the Korean history. Built by an army unit in 1983, Kosong Unification Observation Tower is the nearest place for viewing Kumkangsam Mountain in North Korea. From the observatory, visitors can see the Heikomgang River and the islands nearby as well as get a glimpse of various peaks of Kumkangsam Mountain. More than 1 million people visit this area on an annual basis. Discovered on March 19, 1975, the second underground tunnel is huge enough to allow 30,000 soldiers to pass through it per hour. The tunnel has been developed into a tourist site so that visitors can tour the tunnel. This experience is very unique and gets you to know more about the soldier situation during the war. About the fourth tunnel, it is the only tunnel with a motor car for visitors to tour the tunnel. The water flowing up from the tunnel is known to be very healthy and has become much soft after. Now let's talk about some famous dishes in Kangwondo. The first one is Yang Yang Pine Mushroom Stew, which is actually various mushrooms, vegetables and beef that are placed in a large earthen pot and it is topped with pine mushrooms and it is boiled. It's very delicious. The second one is buckwheat mussel jang kalguksu. The buckwheat used for the noodles of kalguksu is a major ingredient of gangwondo that contains high quality proteins and it also contains essential amino acids such as lysine, iron and zinc. The last meal we want to introduce you is clear polak soup of kusong. Clear polak soup is boiled without sauces and spices, but simply with polak, radish, cabbage, green onions and garlic. Because it's a clear soup, you can enjoy the clean taste of fresh ingredients rather than sauces and artificial seasoning. Also, the soup is refreshing as it is boiled with radish. Now let's talk about accommodations. For your stay, you have so many options in Kangwondo. You can book a hotel, as you can find hotels of all categories, from cheap ones to very high quality ones. You may not find the hotel anywhere, but especially in the main cities that we introduced you before. For example, if you plan to stay in Kangnam City, you can book a room at the Heron House Hotel, which was built on the motive of a mansion in the medieval Europe and all rooms have a view on the East Sea, which makes this hotel popular among tourists. Thank you for watching the video and see you soon in Kangwondo Province!